Hello, and welcome to another Pico 8 video. Let's play. This is a bit of a special one, because today, it's right before my birthday in fact as well, I'm actually going to be playing my favourite ever Pico 8 game. Yep, you heard that right. This is the game that made me want to get a Pico 8 in the first place. This game is called Mystery, or Mystery by a Benjamin Soule or Soul. I don't know. Apologies if I'm if you're watching this and I'm mangling your name. I do apologise. But anyway, this is a fantastic game. Very much based on my all-time favourite game ever, in fact, that being Bubble Bubble. So this is quite similar to that, and that's why I love it. I saw videos of this prior to me getting a Pico 8, and I thought, yes, I need to get, in, get involved, I need to get this, just so I could play this game. And here I am. So today, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a playthrough, and we'll see where we can get with it. I did make one slight modification to the code actually, because for some reason the button layout just didn't work for me. So the outer button was originally set to be, well, anyway I'll stop playing and then I'll explain. Right, so originally the outer button was set to be, was used to shoot and the inner button was used to jump, but I just reversed those because, I don't know, I just find that more comfortable for some reason. So that's the beauty of the Pico 8. Oh! I do believe that is a level skip. And that's the very first time that's ever happened. So this game might be short because I don't know what's going on. As you can see, I'm just getting my ass handed to me by some lightning. Shit. Motherfucker over there. No, it's not ready. At all. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> so as just as I say. I died straight away. Because I wasn't ready for that. So let's do this again. It's a pretty cool way to start the video though. to have skipped me forward some levels again for some reason. Must have been something I picked up. Alright, so I haven't really got to, had a chance to explain what's going on yet, but I imagine it should be fairly self-explanatory, especially if you played Bubble Bubble before. So, you basically go from stage to stage, wiping out lots of little cute enemies, all of which behave differently. Picking up power-ups along the way. So these little bastards shoot at you, as you can see. And if you hang around too long, a little ghost comes after you. Can't kill. As with Bubble Bobble, there's letters that you can collect to make the word extend. There's also the word mystic that you can make as well. So finishing the word rewards you with some kind of bonus, be it extra lives or something else. Not quite sure what mystic does yet. Oh, that power really helps me actually because I hate so. Let's 
go. So yes, this is definitely the most polished Pico 8 game I've played, and... Oh, I really cannot... Oh, shit. Dead. Let's try again. I really cannot rate it highly enough. I really, 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 really like this a lot. Back to you get sick of me keeping superlatives on this game. But hey. What are you gonna do? You're already watching my video. No, I'm just waffling. Shoot those letters to change them. Um, I didn't do that just then. It's easy to forget that whilst you're getting caught up in all of the madness that's going on around you. So if the power-up system works anyway like Bobby Bobbles, then the power-ups that appear are determined by how and where you walk on the screen at what time and things like that. So I don't know how that works on here, but I assume it's similar, not the same. Which is one of my favourite things about a whole. When you realise that then you just then it really do and you just how much a stroke of genius the power-up system on that game is. So it'll be interesting what when I replay watching the video back of this and seeing oh shit. Seeing what I did, maybe, to uh, trigger what happened earlier. I'm still learning this game as I go along. But that's the beauty of it. Oh, here we go. Look great. Music's as good as you expect, and I'm dead. But I'm gonna have another go. Don't know how long this video is gonna be, but maybe some time. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> yes, and there is also a two-player option in here as well, which I imagine will make the game even more fun, just like the original Bubble Bobble. So if you ever do play this, and if you have friends, then yeah, I recommend two-player action. spot on that level makes it a little easier. I'll be using that for now. Standing here or over there. Dead straight away. Well I have to end this video at some point so now seems like the place to do it. Mr. Green on Peace Pico 8. Fantastic game, triple A stuff right here. If you haven't played this yet and you've got Pico 8, I don't know what the hell you're playing. If you haven't got Pico 8, you really, really need to get it just for this game. Cannot recommend it highly enough. Fantastic piece of coding, very well polished. Yep, what more can I say? Thank you very much for watching.